In this video, uh, we're going to go over how to set up the static structural project, how to input the, the properties, and how to save the uh, file. So we'll start by going under Analysis Systems, and we'll drag the static structural system in. It'll open up. And the first thing we'll do is we'll go under Engineering Data, then we'll click on that. Then we'll click on that. There we go. And see, it already has uh, structural steel in as a material. We're not going to use that. We want our own materials. So we're going to click here to add new material. Call this material cartilage, if I can spell it right. And then for the properties, the only ones we care about are the linear elastic properties. So we'll go under linear elastic, click on the plus, and drag isotropic elasticity over property. And it'll come in. So we'll click on the plus again. And we'll put in our values for cartilage, uh, 2 megapascals. And then Poisson's ratio is 0.3. And then we'll do this again. We'll add another material for muscle tissue. And once again, we'll drag in isotropic elasticity properties. And we'll add in our Young's modulus is now is 20 kilopascals. And Poisson's ratio is 0.3. That's good for now. We'll go back to the, so we'll close engineering data, go back to the project. And now we want to save this project. So we go up to File and Save As. We're doing this in Apps on Demand. So we're going to save it to this PC, Temporary Files. And we'll just call this uh, Trachea Tutorial. Uh, and then we'll, we can hit Save. Also, what's worth knowing is that, um, let's just finish the saving. Also, when you're, uh, when you're done with your Apps on Demand session, you'll want to be able to download the file from your Temporary Files. We can see up here. On that it's in my the file is now oops the file is now in my uh, temporary files, but when I'm done with my session it won't be it, I won't be able to come back and get it. So what I'm gonna do is archive file, archive, and I can save it as a WBPZ file, not as a WBPJ but a WBPZ file. And then what I'll do when I'm done is I'll uh, also I'll save this WBPZ file, um, archive, and then uh, when I'm done with this what I'll do is I'll go into temporary files. Oops, and then I'll uh, download the WBPZ file. And then later on, if I want to come back and work on it later, I can just re-upload the WBPZ file into temporary files, and then I'll have it and keep working with it later.